Hey guys, my name is Jesse Flores. Uh, I'm Subculture uh, Studios representative. I'm not only the founder, I'm also a member. <laughs> um, I started Subculture Studios when I uh, moved down here in Nicaragua. Uh, I really didn't have much inspiration to be a, a, the artist, the artist, you know, uh, be representing one of the top uh, tobacco companies in the uh, global trade. And it just started off um, very, um, very awkward way. Um, I met John at a gas station, but before that, um, I want to give some history about myself. <laughs> I started um, uh, Drew Estate uh, about '98 when I met John. Uh, came on uh, to Nicaragua in '97. Um, I was born here in '75 uh, in Esteli, then moved out to the uh, United States with my family in '79, '80 uh, because of the Civil War. And uh, during the Civil War, uh, I, I didn't know what was going on, so uh, I got Americanized uh, to live the American dream over there. But to find out that I would live over here and make better things, a better living, a, a better life, a family man. And um, I've taken it upon myself for the years, you know, to really indulge in, in, the, in, the, in the tobacco industry and look at it as a whole in the marketing. Um, what does it need? What's the empty space that tobacco uh, carnosaurs are looking for, you know, um, besides the cigars, arts, ashtrays, t-shirts, hats, anything that can be produced out of the mindset of, you know, why so much content? Somebody asked me, it was like, why not? I'm producing as much as possible for the masses because you have uh, Baskin, Robbins, uh, so many different flavors, the type of uh, industry that we're going with. And we really want people to have a fun with the tobacco that we're producing and with the swag that we're producing, uh, with the culture that's being produced and everybody's really enjoying it. Um, I've been with the company uh, for so many years. I met John uh, when he had eight employees and now uh, from 1,400, 1,800, 2,000 and it just keeps growing. Uh, we have uh, various wood shops. We had uh, really cool uh, friendships with people that have been working with us since day one. So it's really interesting to see the growth of the company over the years and myself uh, experiencing uh, smoking cigars, which is one of my uh, favorite hobbies right now, uh, besides listening to music and art. Uh, I'm a very, very connective art person. I know what's going on in the art world. Um, in the beginning, I didn't see myself as an art person, but looking at the different mediums that I've been working around, I have to know also the other artists that are out there. Uh, no competition, I just want to do stuff originally that doesn't you know been seen before or uh in a different sequence in a different technique in a different style um i'm not trying to bite anybody or frown upon anybody i'm just trying to keep it unique and very wholesome and original because that's what everybody wants you know and as a cigar consumers or cigar uh, uh aficionados they're always looking for the uniqueness of uh, the culture the brands uh, the company so uh, we're bringing um, a, a good lifestyle to the people that are um, enjoying what we've uh, been producing over the years. And um, I'm now smoking a Liga 9, and I uh, really enjoy that. Uh, it's one of my favorite cigars. Um, I started off smoking uh, cigars when I met John. I really didn't know nothing about cigars. I, I was really uh, aficionado, very amateur. I didn't know what, what it was to you know, really um, indulge in a good smoke and have it a relaxing moment. Uh, my first cigar was um, Natural, uh, Juicy Lucy, which is a really small one from the Natural line, La Rutan line. And at the time, it was called Natural. And it was it came in a little white box, and it was beautiful um, presentation. I had never seen it before. John had put uh, a face sticker on it, and it was a bamboo, and it had carved by Drew Estate, Natural by Drew Estate. And it was John with a knife over a green bamboo, and it looked so rustic, so raw. I never seen that, and I was like, wow, I, I, I need to try one. He's like, try a, a Juicy Lucy. And I was like, all right, cool, yeah, I liked it. And I started smoking, trying all the blends, trying to smoke all the stuff that they've been making and producing. And meanwhile, I'm having fun making art over the years, and I didn't even know it that I'd be part of one of the coolest cultures. I'm Jesse Flores representing Subculture Studios, and thank you for your time.